Hey, hey, hey. Merry Christmas, everybody. Oh my goodness. I didn't think I was going to be on today. And then I thought, you know what? I'm not doing much this afternoon. And you might be, and that is A-OK. -okay. So you can always watch this a little later. But with that being said, I'm going to make sure I am where I need to be. And while I do that, I'm also trying something different. I figured on Christmas, you'll give me more grace, right? <laughs> so with that being said, I'm trying to do like a duo, a duo, what do you want to call it? Live um, here and on my group. So please say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. Merry Christmas. Oh my goodness sakes, I have some fun stuff to share with you guys today, and I just couldn't wait. So why not, right? Because now we're looking ahead to celebration and a brand new catalog. So with that being said, I have some fun stuff as we're watching these huge, mungus snowflakes falling right before my eyes, right out my studio window. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> Oh, Santa gave me a shovel. No. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to go ahead and try this whole on my group, on my page thing. So we'll see how this goes because it's all new to me. Hi, Lee. How are you? Merry Christmas to you from Virginia Beach, Virginia. Holy cow. Did you guys see any snow there by chance? I'm kind of curious because I know there's been some crazy places that have seen snow that normally would never get snow. Now, if you guys are either on my group or on my page, or you just found me by chance, um, when you get a chance, scroll back, because I took some amazing pictures just a little while ago. It's just a tad chilly in Ludington, Michigan. And for those of you, I've had some people ask, where are you located? Um, if you hold up, this is the way Michiganders do it, right? I'm in Michigan. If you hold up your left hand and point at your pinky knuckle, that is where I am, right along the Lake Michigan shoreline. And it is flipping chilly. <laughs> flipping chilly. No snow. Lucky you. I'll send some. If you want some, I'll send some. So what does Santa give you guys for Christmas? Let me know. I want to know maybe you like your best gift, maybe like the not so best gift. Share with me. I'm curious. Um, I got a whole bunch of neat things, so Santa was good this year. Thank you, Santa. So anyway, welcome. I'm glad that you found me. I'm glad that you have a chance to pop on. And like I said, for those that don't, I obviously know it's Christmas. I'm crazy. That's okay. And I'm spending the afternoon in my studio anyway. So why not be here and share a little bit of fun with you guys? So this is my host code for December. If you happen to have a little extra something that Santa put in your stocking, um, and so this host code is good until the end of this month, and then we'll start the January host code. The flu. Steph, are you sick? Oh, I hope you feel better. Oh my goodness sakes. Well, I hope this feels helps you to feel better. Um, hope you're sipping on maybe a little bit of eggnog, you know, hot cocoa. <laughs> All right, guys, just a couple of things here. You know me, I like to do a little bit of the housekeeping before we go ahead and get started stamping. Um, if you did just happen to bump into me by some crazy reason, make sure to like my page. Also, join my community on Facebook. Come on over and join us over there as well. And that's Dawn's Creative Chalet. Everything, same name. Same name. I try to keep it so it's easy to find. Also, don't forget to join my um, or subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that little bell. It will turn black. That means that you'll get all the notifications as I load things um, onto YouTube. So that's pretty awesome. Also, check out my blog, which is dawnscreativechalet.com. Easy peasy, right? <laughs> and also, I'm on Pinterest. So um, if you guys are on Pinterest, I love Pinterest, right? Um, it's full of great ideas that I would love to do and never do. You guys know that, right? You, <laughs> you can relate, I hope. I know I'm not the only one. But anyway, follow me there as well. I'd love to have you dream along with me. Okay, and along with that, another reminder, we have Paper Pumpkin, and the January kit is all about the theme of Valentine's Day, which is what I'm going to do today, too. So, um, Valentine's Day. 
And just make sure to sign up by the 10th of January if you want January's kit. And there's an add-on of these cute little heart boxes. So if you're wanting that, um, contact me and I can help you with that as well. But signing up for that if you haven't done so already. I always love the holidays, you know, as it gets into like October, November, December, January. These kits are so much fun. And, you know, I was asking before, and I'm not sure, do kids still do Valentine's like they used to? Like I can remember years ago, of course, I'm old, right? And we used to hand out Valentine's to everybody in our classroom. So I don't know, do they still do that? I'm not sure, but those little boxes would be super cute and super easy if you do have the kiddos in grade school and that type of thing. Or maybe for yourself, for random acts of kindness to the postal carrier, the UPS guy, <laughs> FedEx, uh, the bank teller, maybe your nail tech or, uh, yeah, I mean, just, or leaving a little something if you've gone somewhere to eat and leaving a little treat for your server, I think is always kind of nice. So anyway, that's coming up. Just want to remind you about that. And another thing, last call on this. We're getting down to the nitty gritty as we get to the new catalog, right? So this is the fitting florets. There's a collection. And I believe if I looked, I looked just a couple minutes ago on the inventory status report. And I think that the collection is available yet where you get one of everything. And that's the information right there. And don't fret because you can always watch this again if you don't get that number right now. All good. And then a um, couple of things, whoops, that are carrying over is this bundle, which is the stamp set and these dies, which I have been using over and over and over again. And then we have these items over here that are like last call. They're not carrying over. Once they're gone, they're gone. They're available until the fourth or while supplies last. And there are these cute little um, gold swirl embellishments. Then we have, you know, and I would, I'm going to keep this. Like usually I, I go through and I sell a lot of my things in my BOGO, but this particular stamp set, I'm going to keep. I really like it. I love the font and all of that jazz. And then check out the paper, the DSP. In fact, I have a better sample. I know I do. As I walk away from you guys. Let me see here. Let me find it. I should have gotten this out prior to, but I figured today is so super casual. Like we're just hanging out together. Um, oh my goodness sakes, where did it go? Because I know I have a sampler of that little puppy. Look at, look at all these new papers, you guys. Oh my gosh, so much fun between Celebration and um, the new mini catalog. Oh my goodness, maybe it ran away. Sugar Biscuit. Huh, that is really odd. Maybe I already took it out of here. I know I'm kind of teasing you, aren't I? Um, hmm. Okay then. Well, anyway, it was here, it ran away. <laughs> so I'll give you this close up here, but it's beautiful. I've used this, like a couple packs of this already. Um, and I'm really bummed that it's not carrying over because it's gorgeous. Okay, um, one last thing. If you are local to me, I am going to have a mini catalog and celebration kickoff because we like to do that. With every new catalog, I have a party. It's all about partying and stamping. Um, we party with inks, stamps, and paper. But it'll be on Thursday, January 5th. That is the day that the catalog does go live. And I have two different times available at one o'clock or 6.30, right here at the Chalet in Scottville. And you'll need to please RSVP no later than January the 2nd. And it's $25 or free with the minimum order. But of course, we have celebration, woohoo! <laughs> so I'm sure that everybody's gonna meet that requirement and get the class or the event for free. And you're going to get the catalog, the celebration brochure. We're going to have make and takes. You're going to play with all new product. Um, I have over 80 samples available for you guys to inspire you. It's going to be so much fun. And also you'll be checking out all the new products that I've been able to collect up until that point. Um, along with 
like I said, earning some free celebration products if you choose. We'll have a little dessert and a little gift from me personally. So anyway, I hope that you can make it. That's Thursday, January the 5th, 1 o'clock or 6.30. And I think that was about everything. If you guys do want my new class schedule, um, reach out to me. I also, I think I've posted it previously that you can print this out. It's a double-sided sheet and this covers all the way through the end of April. And that is when our catalog will expire. Actually, both catalogs will expire, both the mini, the new mini that we're talking about now and our annual catalog will both expire the end of April. It's crazy, right? But we know it'll be here before we know it. Okay, so you guys ready for some fun and a few sneak peeks, by the way. So first of all, we're going to play with some new designer series paper, or as we like to call it, DSP. This is the Country Floral, and this comes in 12 by 12. And see this pattern right here? It has a punch that matches it perfectly. I love when Stampin' Up! does that. And then this, by the way, show you here. This is the bundle, the Country Bouquet Bundle. This whole suite of product is so pretty, you guys. And like I said, I, I couldn't wait to play with it. So that's what we're going to do today. And then also, there's another pack of paper that's six by six in size, and it is the Country Gingham DSP. Whoops, I just knocked over a whole bunch of my blocks. Timber. <laughs> Anyway, so we're going to play with this as well and incorporate it with this because they like are a perfect marriage together, right? I mean, they're beautiful, beautiful colors. I love the colors. So with that being said, we have mint macaron, balmy blue, uh, sweet sorbet, and petal pink. Yeah, petal pink. And then in this paper, there is also mossy meadow and white. Well, there's white in this as well but the other color is mossy meadow and that that's that green pretty pretty stuff okay so let's get going um another thing that we're using today is this set of dyes this is the stylish shapes yes i have to <laughs> i always have to check myself because i want to call them something other than what they're called but anyway um, if you don't have these, these are a must-have. Add these to your list. Right now, they're not orderable, but they will be back in stock. It looks like January the 30th at this point. And then we also have, check this out, you guys. I'm so excited. We have an alphabet back. These are just over one and three-quarter inches in height. And um, they're great for card making or for scrapbooking or everything in between, right? So I'm so happy that these are back. The other thing that I love is that they're giving us some additional um, letters. So if you wanted to cut something out that's a longer word and you have like some extra vowels and consonants that you'll be able to use, which I think is pretty awesome. I love the size of these and we're gonna use these today as well. Okay, what am I forgetting? Um, we are going to use this. It's a um, red and burlap ribbon. It's a combo pack, just to kind of give you a peek at it. Whoops. I do have music on in the background. So you guys, let me know if that music is distracting, and I will turn it off. Alexa's giving me some Christmas music today. Anyway, I love this ribbon. And then also we're going to use, I think, a little bit of this linen thread. I go through linen thread like there's no tomorrow. All right, let's get started. Um, I'm going to do this one first. We're going to use our Stamparatus today. Uh, Stamposaurus, <laughs> whatever you like to call this little guy. It's, um, it's a lot of fun. When I first got mine, I was intimidated. I know, right? but tools intimidate me at times. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna mess this up, but it's so easy. So the Stamparatus comes with two of these plates. 
and there it's double hinged, which is something that other stamp placement tools do not have. So we have this hinge and then the side hinge. And it also does come with these magnets. And if you guys um, have experienced this already, if they kiss, <laughs> connect, they can break. So there is a compartment, whoops, on the back of this to keep them in place and separated so that they don't break because they do. They like, well, love each other completely and bust like big, big time. So um, something that I didn't do with this set because I did break one set already is um, you can put washi tape on these so that they're easier to grab just a little bit with a tail of washi tape. So it's a, I don't know, whoops. Oh gosh, did you guys just hear that? They didn't break, but I tell you, when they connect together, <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, and then there's also this grid paper, and then there's a cushion here for the photopolymer stamps, which is what we are using today. All right, so with that being said, let me show you what we're gonna make. I guess that would kind of help, wouldn't it? Grab it here. So here's card number one. We're gonna make three cards today. And I really, I love, I love this big heart. And it's like a two-step stamping. So one of the stamps covers what you see in Mint Macaron. And then the other stamp covers the heart and the little flowers in there. So I'm using Mint Macaron and um, Sweet Sorbet, which is one of our in colors that I love. I love, love, love. So with that being said, I have a piece of scrap basic white paper and I marked in the corner where I aligned my scrap piece and I also align my stamps so that when I stamp each of these, they're going to hopefully um, align perfectly on the paper. Let's see, let me grab my Sweet Sorbet ink and also Mint Macaron. And we're gonna go ahead and play with the mint first. And hopefully, I wanna make sure I can see what you guys are seeing here. I didn't even check that, silly me. There we go. Well, you can kind of, kind of, sort of-ish. There we go, maybe that'll be better. Okay, so what I like to suggest is to take an additional ink pad and just put it underneath here when you're stamping. It just makes it a little bit more um, of an even surface while you're inking your stamp. I hope that made sense. And I think I'm shaky shaking the table here. <laughs> Sorry about that. Maybe it was too much sugar. Santa did bring some chocolate covered cherries. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead. The nice thing about the Stamparatus is that if you do not, by chance, get enough ink on your stamp and you haven't moved anything, you can lift this off. And if you wanted your ink to be darker, you go ahead, take your ink pad, ink up your stamp again, go ahead, press down, and it's perfect. Or at least we hope so, right? I know it looks really funny right now. So now what we're going to do is I'm gonna move this additional ink pad underneath this one right here. Whoops. And we're gonna ink up this part of the heart with Sweet Sorbet ink. Whoops, I'm doing it again. I'm shaking the, the camera, I'm sorry. Don't mean to get you guys seasick on Christmas. And hold my breath and make sure that it aligns perfectly. Ready? Ta-da! Now I want to go ahead and I do want that just a little bit darker. And even though I've already actually cut out a heart, I'll use this one on another card. Whoops. Ta-da! How cool is that, right? 
I got a cord here that's in my way. So before we have a mishap, I wanted to make sure I fix that. All right. So then the next step, which I've already actually done, is I took the largest circle. I'm going to show you guys here. The largest circle from the stylish shapes and then cut this out for my card. And I've already done that. So one step less for you guys to have to watch. <laughs> so we're gonna set that aside because I'm gonna use that later on another card. Now, as far as cleaning your Stamparatus with the ink that's on it, I just take my ooky looking Simply Chamois and it just, it's tap water that I make it moist with and go ahead and clean it off. And it's as easy as that, really. Once in a while, what I'll do with my plates is I'll take them off and I'll wash it with Windex just to get it a little shiny, I guess. <laughs> but pretty simple, for sure. And I also suggest don't leave your plate, put it back on here for a second. Don't leave your plate like that. Um, it has a tendency that you could break it. So I always say, because the one will lie perfectly, just take your second plate and rest it up against it and store it like so. A lot easier. And that way, it won't break. Okay, let's get all my other bits and pieces here. So I have my ribbon. and cardstock and all that good stuff. All right, so I have some measurements for you guys, just in case you're interested. This, again, is Sweet Sorbet cardstock. I cut it at five and a half by eight and a half. I scored it at four and a quarter, and I need my seal adhesive. I got myself a new one, you guys. Ooh. <laughs> And um, I cut a piece of basic white at four by five and a quarter for the inside liner of my card. And go ahead and put that like so. Like I said, I've already cut a heart with that die so it was ready to go. This piece of designer paper, make sure my hearts are going the right direction. This is cut at what was it cut at? Five by three and three quarter inches. And I'm gonna go ahead, put a little bit of seal on the back. Whoops. And I'm gonna purposely put it kinda, I don't know what you wanna call that, crooked? Kitty Wampus? <laughs> In my world, Kitty Wampus. Onto the card base. And then from there, we have our heart that's already set to go. But what I want to do before I put this on my card is play with my ribbon. And I'm basically just going to wing it, literally. I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive directly onto that designer paper. We're going to go ahead and put a little bit more there just to make sure that it does stick in place. And it's just for, I don't know, a fun visual effect. I know I never end up using, whoops, we're going to do that a little different here. There we go. I never end up using a whole bolt of ribbon because I get a little, what do you want to put it? How do you want to put it? I don't know. I get a little, I don't know. <laughs> I, I try to save it. That's the word I'm looking for. My goodness, you would think that I've had eggnog to to drink or something today. Oh, Lordy B. Oops, maybe, yeah, that won't work. And again, a little bit more adhesive, and we just wanna make this kind of fun and colorful and use up the ribbon that we've purchased. Because even though it does look pretty on your shelf, it is nice when you do use it. Come on, you guys, admit it. Especially to those who appreciate your handmade cards, right? I want to say Scrooge it. Scrooge. Uh, anyway. Anyway, Dawn, be quiet. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and put the heart circle on with my favorite thing ever, dimensionals. And I think what I'm going to do, 
Let's make like a tunnel in the middle-ish of my circle so that the ribbon rests and it doesn't make my circle bulge, so to speak, if that makes sense. And we're gonna stick that on there like so. And then I've cut a piece of mint macaron cardstock and this is one and a half by one half inches. And I need the sentiment that says, I love you. Actually, let's do this one with, hmm, let's do for you. Let's do something a little different. Whoops, my additional letters that I've cut out are floating in there. Okay, let's see. Where is that one? For you. There we are. I don't know why I try to keep that top piece of the packaging on there because it just does get in my way. All right, I'm gonna block. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do a tone on tone and I have my mint macaron ink that I'm going to stamp on my mint macaron cardstock. There we are, perfect. And then I'll just trim it down with my paper snips if I can find them. By the way, if you guys don't have these, this is um, a good addition in your craft room and they right now are on low inventory. I think I seen on there just a few minutes ago. I'm gonna trim that down. I just don't want it quite so long. Whoops. And then add a little seal on the back and stick it here like so. Perfection. There is card number one. What do you guys think of that one? Give me some hearts. Get it? Hearts. If you like this card. Now we're going to go on to card number two. Let's see. Let's do, let's do this one. So here is card number two. Hey, Nancy, Merry Christmas. I, as I was connecting, seeing that you were holding something up. Thanks, Lee. Um, you were holding something up that you must have gotten for Christmas. So you need to tell us what you got for Christmas because I didn't get a chance to actually like check it out, but it looked really cool. Okay, so this card here, we're going to use a little bit of that gingham. I love gingham and balmy blue whoops so the card base balmy blue five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter and then i cut a piece once again of basic white at four by five and a quarter so i'm going to go ahead stick this inside so i don't lose it i have a tendency to do that when i get going on things i'm like where did i put it Okay, and this is going to go the opposite direction. I've also cut some of my DSP at, I believe it's one and a half. Let me take my cheat sheet here. Yep, these are one and a half by three and three quarters, and I've cut three of them. One and a half by three and three quarters. And then this piece right here is, um, Three and a half by two. And this is going to be love on here once we're done with that. And then also, I have a piece of basic white, which is three inches by one half inches. All right, so now we got all that out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead and stick these down onto the card base. And it, they don't have to be perfect. I mean, you could if you want them aligned perfectly. In my world, I like things kind of crooked because that's the way I roll. Um, that way it doesn't have to be perfect, right? I don't, I don't need, well, okay, we won't get into that. But anyway, less stress, right? It's crooked. Ta-da! <laughs> so you have your background. It's just a background. So the next thing we're going to work on is reaching for my punch. I'm going to take... 
this beautiful paper and we're gonna punch out I just need the heart the larger heart you can see there's also that little heart too which is really cute all right get that out of the way so now we have a heart and this is going to be our O in love Oh, I was trying to catch what Nancy was saying there. Hearts and flowers and butterflies. I have hearts on my hearts on my brain right now. <laughs> I'll have to check it out, Nancy. It looks really cool. All right. So next thing I need to grab are our alphabet dies or alphabet a la mode is I think what they're calling these. And by the way, these will be available starting January the 5th. And I believe that they are $42 for this set, which I think is pretty reasonable for the amount of dyes that you're getting. So we're going to need the L. We already have the O. And then we need the V and the E. So here's the E. And where is the V? Right here. All right. You know, hopefully I'm not gonna shake the table too much. I'm gonna bring in my die cut machine. There we are. Okay, can you see that okay? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take my piece of paper and position the letters on here. And I'm gonna keep the letters because I'm gonna use the negative basically is what I'll be doing. Um, but I'm gonna keep these letters because later I'll use them on another product, project product, goodness sakes, on another project. So we're gonna go ahead, run this through, and hopefully not shake you guys too much. There we go. I wanna have you guys check out those letters. Aren't those cool? Love it. Pun intended. <laughs> I'm gonna get this out of the way. And there we are. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stick that on like so. Isn't that cute? I love it. And I think with this, no, I don't wanna do that. Never mind. I was gonna say, I'm gonna put that on with some dimensionals, but I don't want to do that with this, and I'll show you why. Whoops. There we are. That is so bizarro. My laptop froze up again. It did that last time I was on, too. <laughs> I had to stop there for a second. I'm thinking, uh-oh, what do I do now? But we're good. It's all good. Okay, I'm going to move these dies where I will not lose them because they blend almost too well with my background here. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is take our balmy blue ink pad and our happy Valentine's Day stamp from the set. Let's see here. Happy Valentine's Day, there it is. And grab a block. Put that on there like so, ink it up. I seriously cannot believe the amount of snow that we're getting. We've already had over a foot of snow here. Can you believe that? It's crazy, just crazy, insane. And I mean, I'm a person that does not even like snow. <laughs> Don't ask me why I live in Michigan. Most of the year is beautiful. I'm just not a person that really gets into the whole snow thing, but it's all good, it's all good. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive on the back of my ribbon so I can get it to stick in place. And we're gonna put it right about there. And then I'm gonna go ahead, oh goodness sakes, I got glue on my nail. I'm gonna put that on like so, with just a little bit of snail. 
Can you hear my dog playing with their squeaky toy in the background? <laughs> That's kind of why I was playing the music to try to drown that out. Okay, now to put this on, I'm gonna go ahead and use some dimensionals. We'll stick that one right there. And just wherever, wherever. There we go. And yeah, that looks good. Okay, and peel off the backs. So once again, all of the fun products that we're playing with today will be available on the 5th of January. So it's right around the corner. All right, that is card number two. What do you guys think of that one? You like it? All right, we have one more. Don't go away. So this card here I thought was adorable. By the way, the cards that you're seeing, I'm not gonna, um, I'm not gonna lie, I cased these from the catalog because that is what caught my eye to wanna purchase this suite of product. Um, I love it, it's just, it's so pretty. So this card right here is a mix again between the two designer series paper packs. And I've done a couple of things in advance just so it wouldn't be slow going for you guys. But I cut a piece of the thick basic white cardstock at five and a half by eight and a half. And then I cut a piece of the Country Gingham DSP at five and a half by four and a quarter. So it's going to cover the entire front of the card. Now for this, I am going to go ahead and use my liquid glue because I'm thinking it's gonna be easier to position it onto my card front with a little bit of give. Um, otherwise, this other glue, the seal, it's awesome, but I tell you what, when it's down, it's down, and then you don't have a chance to play with it to get it where it needs to be. So that's, I guess, a plus with liquid glue. The negative of liquid glue is no matter how little I use, I always have it all over the place. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's like a love-hate with this little guy, but it is very good glue. All right, so we got the front. And then let's see here. This is a piece of Sweet Sorbet. I'm trying to find the measurements on this one. Oh, no, is it? Here it is. I have too many sticky notes. <laughs> All right, so the designer series paper is five, whoops, five and a half by four and a quarter for the first piece. And then the sweet sorbet is four and seven eighths by five, three and five eighths. Four and seven eighths by three and five eighths. And then this piece of DSP is four and three quarters by three and a half. And then the balmy blue piece um, is two by one half, one half, one half inch, two by one half. And then there's also a piece of basic white that's one by two. And then you'll wanna have a couple scraps. Um, I went ahead with the scrap piece of white and I punched out the heart that is in the stamp set here with the punch that you guys seen just a little bit ago. And then also there's that small heart and I punched that out with sweet sorbet with that punch. All right, so we have all these little bits and pieces here ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and layer. I don't know what it is why I can't grab my stuff today. I'm gonna go ahead and layer these two together and then attach it to this card base. And it's just like a very narrow edge of the sweet sorbet that you'll see pop. Just like that. And I'm gonna adhere this onto the card base with dimensionals. Just like that. Peel off the backings. And then we'll go ahead and stick it to the front of the card, just like so. There we are. 
Isn't that pretty? I love that combination together. And then the other thing that we need to do is the sentiment, which is, I love that we are friends. I do, I love that we are friends. So we're gonna go ahead and take that and stamp it with Sweet Sorbet ink. Find myself a block here. Okay, Sweet Sorbet, where are you? Here you are. And I'm gonna stamp it to the right side of this piece because we're gonna tuck it underneath the hearts, just slightly. All right, and I think I have everything stamped. Cool. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add this piece of the balmy blue. And we're gonna put it right about there. And then, I believe, yep, I put this directly on top of, with seal, whoops. There we are, isn't that pretty? And then these two little hearts, I'm gonna go ahead and use dimensionals on. Oh no, <laughs> you have to get me a new uh, sheet of dimensionals here shortly. Although I do use the crust as I call it. Um, and I think that's what we will do right now. I'm gonna go ahead, cut a little guy. There we go. I'm gonna stick that on the heart. A little heart. There we go. Whoops. There we are. Okay. And put that on like so, and then layer him over here. And one last thing. I wanna go ahead and make a double bow. So I'm gonna Get my handy dandy bow maker out here. It's so much easier when I use this than trying to make my own bows. I'll also need glue dots. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut, I don't know, about 12 inches, which is probably excessive, but that's the way I roll. Um, I have fake nails, so everything is a little more difficult <laughs> when it comes to making a bow. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of like fold it in half. Does that make sense? We're going to meet the ends together, okay? I'm going to cut this loop so it's basically like two pieces the same size. And then we're going to go ahead and just do a bow like I normally would. Just like so. Isn't that cool? And then you have yourself a little double bow. I'm gonna go ahead and trim the tails a little bit. There we go, gave my hair cut. Whoops. And then take a couple of glue dots. These things are so hard to see. Maybe it's my old eyes. Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and I think we'll put the bow right up there. I think it's a curly bow. And there we go. That is card number three. So I'm gonna go ahead, bring back the other two cards. So there we are, there we are. And there we go. So we're getting you guys all set for Valentine's Day. Hey, Kristen, not worry, not at all. <laughs> I'm just playing around, you know, hanging out on Christmas. Just sharing a few things with you guys. All right, well, I hope that you liked uh, what you've seen. Maybe I'll be adding this to your wantables list as the catalog goes live on January the 5th. There's some good stuff, you guys. Thanks so much for the hearts. I love you guys. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. 
and a very, very Merry Christmas to you and your family. And thank you so much. And I know it's not the end of the year yet, but thank you so much for such a great year. Um, you guys make it so much fun to be here and sharing these things with you. So thank you so much. Have a great night, and I will see you next Sunday for Sunday Crafternoon with Dawn.